Xenoverse 2 Legendary Pack 2 for the fall release has been confirmed as DLC Pack 13 for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Legendary Pack 2. And we do have confirmations on who those characters are going to be released this fall. So the first confirmation, the first character being released this fall is Bojack. Don't scratch your head, I'll explain. So the release is actually the transform state of Bojack. So the super form of Bojack coming this fall for Xenoverse 2 Legendary Pack 2. So we might as well call this pack the super transformations and as videos come out you will see why. But with this first release, this first confirmation of Bojack being released character, there's a lot of different moves that I would love to see come from Bojack in Xenoverse 2 Legendary Pack 2. And we're going to discuss those moves in today's video. So the first one is actually going to be his ultimate, his galactic buster. That's what he calls it. I always call it galactic super wave because it always seemed like a better name. But galactic buster where he takes two uh, of his ultimates that he already has in base form and he mashes them together in like a final flash so it's technically a green final flash but comprised of two uh, galactic I think they call galactic impacts I'm not too sure because there's a lot of galactic in the name of his attacks but it's a very great technique to look at and I think damage wise you definitely have to push it over the top because this might potentially be the final DLC pack I'm just kidding. We're going to, we're at least going to go up to DLC pack 20 before we're done. Uh, but another move that I would love to see come out for him is the Dirty Criminal for Raging Blast 2. Uh, it was probably one of my favorite counter supers in the game. And what he does is basically from Bojack Unbound, uh, where he disappears behind the opponent, pushes them forward, and does an energy blast into the back. So this would be a great counter super to have in Xenoverse 2. Uh, we are lacking and we haven't gotten a counter super in a very long time. So there's very... Uh, many reasons as to why we should get that technique in Xenoverse 2 now. Also, you can look at uh, his Galactic Impact as a Strike Super. Now, this is another technique that could potentially fit into like a combo instead of an actual super attack. Uh, but I would like to see it as a super attack, a Strike Super, a Rush Combo Super, uh, because we don't have enough of those. I mean, technically, Future Gohan is the only one with a super attack, uh, Strike Super combo in the game that nobody uses for very good reason because it's not that good. But Galactic Impact being a strike super in this game, I would imagine it being two bars doing about 4 to 5k damage and leaving the opponent on the ground. Because at the end of it, Bojack does this upside down kick, uh, pummeling his opponent into the ground. It's a very great maneuver to see go down. Uh, next would be his Galactic Blow. So he takes a Grand Masher. I finally remember the name of that technique. Uh, so for the ultimate, remember, it's two Grand Mashers to take it together and mush together to create like a Galactic Final Flash. But uh, for uh, Galactic Blow, it's technically a Grand Masher that he uses like a Rasengan and he mashes it into the opponent's chest, triggering an explosion. I feel like this would be a Key Blast Rush Super, uh, much like Super 17's move, but actually effective, like a high damaging super that you can use big combo. I would love it, like locking the opponent in place like a cutscene super, but not really, if you get what I'm trying to say, because obviously in tag team battles, you would be able to break Bojack out of it, but it would be a great technique to see in Xenoverse. Two. Uh, next, uh, what other moves? Because we've already got two or three unique techniques, so he only needs one more, and I feel like that's going to have to be a maximum charge just to make him a balanced character and give him a way to charge his key. We've covered his ultimate. Uh, escape move wise, I would like him to have his signature from uh, Raging Blast 2, and it's basically where he puts up this psych, uh, psych barrier. Uh, or a psychic barrier and then when he releases it he lets it go and it kind of staggers the opponent in place this would be a great uh, escape move or you know what not to have in the game so I imagine it working similar to Majub's escape move but better because like that that escape move has always been strange to me and like you press you spam the button to get weird non-consistent 
damage but I want Bojax to be better to where you could use it as a combo extender using your stamina so in exchange for three bars of stamina you can have an easy way to continue your combo and fully reset it I would love to see that in Xenoverse 2 so let me know what you think of the first character revealed for Legendary Pack 2 for Xenoverse 2 down in the comment section below Bojack in his transform state or Super Bojack coming in the new Super Pack for Xenoverse 2 this fall.